What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm PT Stu. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers and hello to all my current subscribers. Uh, this channel is growing and I'm very happy about that. Love the comments, guys. Keep them coming. I'd be more than happy to answer any of those comments. Now, I haven't been able to put out a video in over a month now. I've been under the weather. It's been my birthday. It's been Christmas. My father-in-law was in the hospital. So there's just been a lot going on, um, a lot going on, right? But I wanted to put out a video because it's been a little while and I want to talk to you guys. Um, a lot of guys are asking me, does enclomiphene affect your libido? Okay. So now keep in mind, this is anecdotal evidence. Okay. So meaning it's from my own experience. Now I've done enclomiphene for a long time. All right. Four months in a row, as a matter of fact, without stopping. Now, from my experience, when it comes to maintaining an erection, I have never had a problem with that. Okay. Now, what I have had somewhat of an issue with is just desire. Okay. And I don't know if it's from the enclomiphene. I mean, in theory, if you think about it, and what does enclomiphene do? It binds to estrogen receptors in place of estrogen. Now, estrogen has a purpose in the body, many purposes in the body. That's why you want to not take enclomiphene every day because you need to allow estrogen to rebind to those receptors. So with the binding of the estrogen receptors, if you don't take those days off, you could see a serious decline in your libido. Okay. Um, that's why you want to, you know, most clinics are, that are providing this are saying that it's best to do a dose every third day. I personally have landed on a dose once per week. If you haven't seen my video on that, be sure to check that out. So have I had any, uh, lowering of libido personally? I think so, but guys, let me just say this it's never really been a problem. So there's been a lot going on in my life over the past few years that is very stressful. You know, I'm a business owner and, you know, I run this channel. Um, but besides that, you know, I was sick actually just last month. That's one thing. Um, you know, the stress of the economy, that's another thing that kind of gets me a little bit my father-in-law, he has Parkinson's disease. So there's a lot of things that can affect your libido that you don't really recognize. Stress is a huge one. Whether you're tired is another one. Um, if you haven't eaten, that's another one. Um, you know, for me, I have low estrogen and I'm not really sure where that started. I don't know if it's from the enclomiphene, but I am trying um, and clomiphene in combination with DHEA to help raise my estrogen. I am going to be putting out a video on that with my lab results. So check that out as well. In short, my answer is maybe. Does enclomiphene affect your libido? Maybe. Okay. But I can't say, what I can say is that I've never had a problem getting an erection. I've never been, I've never been to the point where I'm like, no, absolutely not to my wife. Um, I've always been able to perform. So, and I've been taking enclomiphene for a while now, right? So, um, all I can say is that I'll have to test it again when a lot of the stresses in my life clear up and then get back to you guys on it. But um, what I can say is, guys, I don't think it's anything to really be worried about, you know? If you know, you're thinking about trying enclomiphene, what I always suggest is get your hormones tested. Okay. Then you can see stuff like your free testosterone, your estrogen, your dehydrotestosterone, all of these different things are going to play a factor in your libido. And you can see the link in the description below. If you need lab testing, click my link and you can go check out the enclomiphene panel. The enclomiphene panel is going to have testosterone, free testosterone, estrogen, DHT, steroid hormone binding globulin, and I think uh, T4, thyroid hormone, 
all right so check that out you can also do your own labs if you want to pick those as well um, you'll get them at a discounted rate for sure these they you're gonna see discounts all the time and they're the lowest price lab that I've found so that's why I promote them but um, that being said I don't know if you guys have noticed but I have put on a little weight that's partially because it's been my birthday it's been Christmas I got sick I stopped wanting to be so strict with my diet over the course of the year like I had been so I wanted to take a little bit of time off that that being said I am going to be testing out Ozempic or Wagovi otherwise known as semaglutide um, that's the injectable medication for weight loss so I am going to be testing that out so you guys have that to look forward to as well um, and I do want to test out uh, saw palmetto as a potential for helping with my estrogen and my hair loss which segues into my next thing I am going to be putting out videos I don't know if you guys noticed but my hair has thickened up and my beard has thickened up as well so I'm going to be putting out videos on topics about minoxidil dermapen saw palmetto and more so look out for that but anyways guys short video I like to keep them short because I know your attention spans aren't too long <laughs> just like mine so uh, thanks for joining me today and I hope you have a great rest of your day and happy new year to you all right bye-bye